Welcome. Welcome, welcome to Happy another winter solstice, summer solstice. Yeah, solstice energy is still around. Do you feel it? I feel it. I do. Newness. Well, for us, yeah, newness. Oh, yeah. It's a bit different from the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> okay, so today we thought, or this week, we thought we would talk about energetics <laughs> in a really broad word. If we had to sum it up in a word, what are we saying? We're talking about our energetics as mothers. And um, there's a lot of ways we could introduce this. I'm just wondering what to do. Basically, our energetics are um, very are subtle, but are extremely powerful. Like they don't, they're not like a huge outward doing. It's about a being state for the most part. But it's so important um, to set ourselves up for the day. And I was coaching a client this week. And she was having a really challenging parenting week in that she had a ton of stuff on. She's moving house this week. Her two-year-old's dropping naps. Her four-year-old was like high energy. Her partner was away. Like, wow, that's like a lot going on. And she had really taken the time first thing in the morning to decide on her intention and her energy and set herself up just in five minutes for the day. And her days were flowing. Like she was really happy with the way she was showing up as a mother. Um, and given the week she was having, that was extraordinary because <laughs> it's an easy week to lose your shit on. <laughs> um, and there was one day in the week where she didn't do her setup. And it was the day in the week where everything fell over and she yelled at the kids and she felt crappy and she just didn't want to do it and she was over the whole thing. And she said, wow, it was really fascinating that it was the time that she didn't do her energy work. Like she didn't set her intention, she didn't set her energy, she didn't connect to herself and work out what was going on and moving within her. And that was made such a massive ripple effect across the day for her. And it echoed exactly what had been going on for me too. So I had been doing um, a process with my coach actually um, that wasn't specifically for parenting but was in energetics, really entrenched in energetics. But because of the week I was having, because I also had a crazy week, I had birthday parties and vomiting children and <laughs> sickness all through my week and this deadlines. Sorry about that. <laughs> but like I had a crazy week too. And so my the energetic practice that I was doing, I turned it all onto parenting, like just the basics, like what do I need to who do I need to be today to get through my day and what energy do I need to set and what simple intention am I setting for my day? And my week, even though my week was full of craziness, was really flowing in my parenting too in fact to the point that my kids were just so in love with me they literally wouldn't get off me all week it was crazy but like I was in a really great space showing up as a parent in in situations where I could have easily also traditionally lost my cool and so the issue is like well what were what was my client doing differently what was I doing differently that created this like complete different shift in the way we we're showing up and the answer was we were taking a moment to get ourselves in a in a place that was foundationally aligned with where we wanted to go and then we let it go like the days were busy and everything it wasn't like we were constantly working this we set up at the beginning and we allowed it to ripple out through the day Mm. And it doesn't like well, it naturally would mean that you your actions are different to an extent, but sometimes on like on the surface, on the outside perspective, it might you might not what you're doing might not actually look that different. Like, but but underneath that, because of the energy that you're bringing mm. and the conscious connection you have to your intentions, it makes the actions profoundly different so different so different like even in amongst all the vomit I was feeling kind of spacious like it's a really interesting mm. dynamic and if you don't it's so easy to let go of and especially the more crazy your weeks get like often yeah. your energetics are the first thing that go and it, I, I can watch my mind um 
convince me that, that it should go. <laughs> it's like, I, I don't have time for that. Exactly. <laughs> and yeah, it's the most insanely powerful piece, especially mm. if that's all you've got to go on. So what is a practice that, that so that you can personalize it? And we're just going to give you some examples today so it's not theoretical for you. Um, and we'll probably touch on, we'll touch on briefly the, my coach's process. <clears throat> which she calls the master soul process, which I'm really excited because she asked if I would co-write the parenting version of that with her, a new book yeah, this year. So I'm really excited about that. But let's talk about the master, like what you need to do. Um, so in essence, in the broader picture, you're setting your intention. You're getting really conscious of what your intention is, setting your energy. Who do you need to be to line up with that intention? And you're connecting to yourself. There's a big self-connection piece here. And when I say big, I don't mean in time-wise. I mean in the importance that it, it anchors and grounds you big time. Mm -hmm. And often we don't do it. We don't take the moments. And it's very much about connecting with the, the truth, the essence that's underneath. Like you were just saying before, your intention mm -hmm. is not a should. Like it's not, um, <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, what do I... What's the thing that I have to make my intention now? It's more coming into yourself, coming in, creating a little bit of stillness so that you can connect with yourself and tune into what that intention really is. Yeah. That's there for you. Yeah. And we're not talking a lot of time here. <coughs> um, there are days that it's a five minute thing for me. And there are days when I want to spend more time on it when I've got a bit of space, but that doesn't always happen. Um, you can do it in, in your morning shower, over your morning cup of tea. Like, it, it's not a big thing in terms of a time commitment, but it's amazing what it does for setting you up for the day. So let's give a basic framework. You would want to tap into what is it, what is it that you're truly desiring today in your day and be honest and clear with yourself and check in. And I would actually invite you, we've talked about tracking before, but I would invite you to take 30 seconds or so to track what is moving within you in an honest, real way. Like what is going on in my emotions? What's going on in my physical body today? What's going on in all my mental chatter? Like just tune into yourself. Mm. The self-connection piece is really critical. Otherwise, you're going to put a should mm. and all sorts of other stuff. And that's not to say you're not going to have to-do lists and shoulds because they do happen. But take it out for a moment in the yeah, energetics. Don't, don't start with that. Yeah, don't start with that. <laughs> and so, questions like, like if, if I were, if I were to allow myself to, what do I truly desire right now? Like, what do I really, really want? Mm. Because <clears throat> really quickly our minds can come in and not say, possible. well, that's not pr practical, not yeah. possible. Um, can't even go there yet. Like, but but let yourself really connect. Yeah. The essence. Yeah. So track and connect what's really going on for you and what you really would love, like what you really desire, the essence of what you desire. Set an intention for your day. Um, what do you want to create in your day? Who do you want to be in your day? Like have a think about those sorts of broad questions. Those are two really powerful ones that I like. Um, and then from there... This is where the master soul process comes in. We're just going to touch on it really quickly because we're going, we want to kind of be kind of quick today. But we are going to be deep diving in this next trimester in Mother Rising. The whole three months is the energetics of parenting and it covers a lot of stuff, but this will be one piece of it. And we are going to do like a whole challenge coming out, like a come and hang out and do an immersion in this with us soon. So that will be exciting. But today is like an overview for you. So once you're clear on an intention, what energy do you need to embody or invoke or like call on that is most going to support that intention today? Everything comes back to supporting that intention, supporting that intention. Just take a moment to breathe in that energy and just be clear on what your word is, your energy word is for the day, okay? That will support you through the day. Then there are four main pieces and you've kind of touched on them a little bit already, So, but I'm going to go over them quickly. Your foundation. Your foundation is what is the thing that you need to do to set yourself up, your internal 
yourself, your internal house up, if you like, for that intention for the day. It might be you need some inspiration. You might read a page of a book, like one page, don't read like a book, but like you might want to bring in something to support you and inspire you across the day. You may want to release and let go of some stuff that you need to get rid of. Um, you may want to connect and ground yourself and connect with nature. You may want to go sit in the sun. Like all these things. It are... could also be something around really nurturing, like either <clears throat> looking after your body, like oh, I really want to yeah. do some yoga or some yeah. stretches, or it could be something around really looking after um, like your emotions or your like some kind of real topping yourself up. Yeah. For yourself. This is about making sure that you inside yourself are, are feeling grounded and clear and got a bit of support in place mm -hmm. and it can be quick there are days when it is like a quick nod to the process and then sometimes they'll be like I want to do a whole yoga class but that's not going to happen every day but there'll be a piece in there and we'll pull this out more in future videos but that'll give you some framework then the second piece is self-connection and you actually did this when we told you to track and find out what's moving in you but being connected to yourself in your parenting day is actually critical and we miss it so often. We connect to our children, connecting, connecting outwards all the time. We're often tapped into what they're feeling, what they might be needing, what's going to happen in the day, how you're going to move through it without setting your anchor internally first. You need to connect to self. Now that could be connect to my body, that could be connect to spirit, that could be connect to my higher self, that could be connect to a part of me that's like really up and needing my attention. But take a moment, so it could look like journaling, it could look like meditation, it could look way shorter than that. It could look like just a couple breaths and being present to the moment. Just the, the questions that you've probably heard us suggesting so many times tuning into what am I feeling what am I needing or what's moving in me mm. so all of those there's tons of self-connection <coughs> practices but have a small nod to self-connection in there the next piece is manifesting now not in manifesting in the like abundance well, it is kind of but we're not going any we're going down that track yeah. at the moment but ask for something support that will support your intention for the day every day yeah, put it, we forget, put it out there. We forget. we forget to actively ask for what we really, really want. Ask and you for can the support. Ask for anything. anything. So it's in. It, you can ask for how you want your relationships to be. You can ask for how you want your experience of motherhood to be today. Yeah, one of my favorite things to ask for is <coughs> to ask for a state of being. For example. Um, I just want to be open to being really present today. I want to manifest presence today. Like whatever it is, it could be anything. But it doesn't have to be a million dollars. The point is you can man you can ask for support on your intention in any direction. Hello to everyone who's here. I haven't really said hello this morning. Sorry. <laughs> um, and as far as mothers, uh, for mothers, this is a really important piece because it touches on receiving. And receiving is a key, is the key, I would say the highest piece in creating sustainability in um, motherhood. Mm. You've got to allow the energy to come back in in a nourishing way. And the asking for something is the first piece of that. You've got to receive it too. But like asking the, then opening to it. Yeah. Receive it. yeah. Okay, so that's the third piece. And the last piece up is ritual. Okay, so ritual is about... The difference between habit and ritual, let's really briefly talk about it. Habit is something you just do every day without really thinking about it. You can move through it. It's like the way you always make lunches and it's the way you always have a shower, whatever it is. The difference with a ritual is you do it with really high intention. It can be super short. It can be lighting a candle. It can be putting on an essential oil. Can be speaking a mantra, like it could be anything, but you're doing it with very high intention, and that intention supports your intention for the day. Everything comes back to your intention for the day. Otherwise, you're it's ungrounded. It's less anchored and less powerful. And that's it. Like you, and you know what? There are so many family rituals. Like mm. our clients tend to love to create family rituals and little rituals all over the place, and they're beautiful. There's so many beautiful ones. Um, that I'm sure you have some. Yeah, so I have choosing the one or two that really light you up for that 
be your intention. Yeah, yeah. Bring so at the moment, I'm doing lots of put on a, a specific essential oil that will really support the energy I'm calling in for today. Today I'm wearing peace. <laughs> <laughs> because um, because it's related to the energy that I'm calling in. Um, I have a salt lamp that in the lounge room, the one in the one in my bedroom has a different purpose, but the one in the lounge room, when I turn it on, calls in family connection and harmony. Like they're all little things, but they're really what they do is they set your mindset up and they set a physiological response in your body as you do them more and more. And they support you to just slip into the mindset that you want to be in that's going to support you. This is kind of the mechanics behind the woo-woo-ness of rituals. But you're creating a neural pathway with a high intention and a repeated action that then allows your body and your mind to fall into sync when you do the ritual, when you enact it. You just feel calmer or you'll feel more openly loving or you'll feel more whatever it is in your body, the phys all your physiology actually will follow along, your, um, the flooding of adrenaline, cortisol, all those sorts of things, all your hormonal responses will actually respond once they're trained. Mm -hmm. So that's like the science behind the ritual, right? Yeah, so that's and a well, yeah, just the, the power of like a process like this, this master soul process is that rather than sometimes it can just seem so overwhelming the thought of trying to mm. do life really well and do parenting <laughs> really well and like yeah. have everything it's like there, there seems so much it's like oh, I'm falling behind in this or that or myself I can't like do self-care or like all these things that we're told we need to do in order to have a healthy life mm. this kind of sorry I almost knocked the painting down <laughs> kind of simplifies it to like these kind of core essence pillars so just just do just touch on something mm. from each of those things and it will feel so much more holistic, holistic. Yeah. yeah and you're so grounded and you're covering all your bases you yeah. don't need to do it all in one hit either so there is definitely times when my foundation comes at the end of the day yeah but, but. you can kind of just check in at the end of the day like have I on something from each of those four yeah. things. Yeah, they can be scattered all throughout the day. I The one thing that I do religiously first thing is that check-in and that intention and connect to what's really true for me today and what I really, really desire. And there could be lots of stuff that gets put on top of that, but if I set up with that mm. as my base, then magic happens. Like it all flows so differently across the day um, because of that. And that's really a setup piece in a really quick, we tried to give you, a, <laughs> we're not doing good at the quick lives. We suck at quick lives. Sorry about that. <laughs> so for everyone who's here, if there's any questions or any comments or any shared stories, because you've all got rituals, you've all got intentions, you've all got connection practices, you've all got things that help you feel really grounded and topped up and nourished. Have a think about what your lists are and all of those. If you want to share, go for it. But at least tune into yourself today and just touch on those things and see what happens mm. um, and we are going to do it an immersion I don't know when is that like a couple of weeks away it's just a couple of weeks isn't it, it? Is, yeah. it's so exciting we are going to do a whole immersion into this and we're going to go day by day with you we'll bring our practice in real time what happened what we said what we did and what each of our things were in each of those areas and how we're going to work it we're going to support you you to actually live that for four or five days and see what happens in your life when you have a really solid setup for your day that allows you to be self-connected and energetically aligned with your highest values yay i think we're done see Bye. you later